Hey, Akuna Matata, let's say that you want to roll back or downgrade your firmware to the older version because any option, maybe there's some feature in the older version that you still need, but with the update, it's gone. You want to use that, you want to go back. Or there's multitude of reason. In this video, I'm going to show you using the Canon EOS R6 how to roll back your firmware to the older version. And I used two options. I used initially one option but did not work out for me. And then I used another option that did work for me. So I'm going to use those two options side by side for you to see and to try. If one worked for you, that's fine. If it did not work for you, so you can still use the other option. So option number one, no order here, right? It's just a number. Option number one, the one that people say you need a two SD card. One SD card with the current firmware that is in the camera and second SD card with the firmware that you want to downgrade to or roll back to. Uh, and the option number two is that you need only one SD card, but uh, there's a moment where you need to open the battery doors. Uh, so that's two options. Before we get into the video of uh, downgrading, I'm giving away this Mavic Air drone when I reach 1,000 subscribers and you get the Mavic Air drone. <laughs> is it a big deal? Is it a good deal? Yes. So what you need to do now? You go down, you see the subscribe button. So first thing for you to do, you subscribe it. Press subscribe and also press the notification bell next to it. Second action, while you are down there, you see the like button of this video. Yeah, press the like button. That's second action, right? Third and last action, and you'll be relieved, is that still down there, comment box below, write your name, Say I enter. So those three actions that you have to take for the chance of winning this Mavic Air drone. So let's get back to the video. Here is the option number one. Go into your menu, go to firmware. You can see the current version of the firmware 1.5. That's, that's the newest one. You press OK. So you instantly open the door and then you instantly insert the card which has the older version of the firmware that you want to go back to. Here it is. So now you have two options of firmware. The latest one and also the oldest firmware. So you select the one that you want to downgrade to the oldest one. So 1.4.0. And then you press, after selecting, you press OK. And then you close the door of the camera with the SD card, and then you select OK, so the update firmware to, from 1.5 to 1.4, and you press OK. And now the updating start. So that's option one with the process of downgrading to the older version. So now let's look at option number two. So option number two, again, same process. You start, go to the menu, firmware, that's the current firmware. And then you select current firmware, you select OK. And now you have to be really fast, right? Get ready, because those two actions need to be done at the same time. So let's pause for now. I'm going to tell you the action that you need to do at the same time. You need to press OK at the same time you open the battery doors. That has to be done simultaneously, otherwise it does not work. All right? Great. Are you ready? So you have to put your finger into the OK, and at the same time, the other finger just ready to open the door. OK, great. So let's go. So as soon that I press OK, and I open the door, and the, you can see the camera turn off the screen is black. So what I have, to, what we need to do next is now to insert the SD card, which has the firmware that you want to downgrade to. So now you insert the SD card, which has the older version. You close the door of the SD card, and then the next action, you need to close the door 
of the battery. And as soon as you close the door of the battery, bam, you can see the firmware update program and then you start, you know, updating. Uh, no, it's not after the updating, but it gives you the option. So you select the options, you OK, and then update starting now. So now let's look at side by side how the process of updating is going. Right. Option one with the two SD card in it. Option two with one SD card in it, but the door open. All right, so let's get to it. So here they're running side by side. Option one, yeah, you have it, and option two, you have it. And you can see, I'm dead now. You can see the progress, you can see the percentage, you know, moving on, and it just keep, you know, rolling, keep rolling, you know, keep rolling, and let's wait. Let's wait and see at what moment the problem starts with the option one. The option one, for me, that has the problem. So we keep going, just keep updating, you, you can see, uh, the percentage going on, 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 going on. 73. Let's pause it now. So let's pause for a second. So option one, when we reach 73, that's where it frozen there, it freeze there, stop in option in 73%. And it's not moving forward and it's nothing happening. And I was thinking that oh maybe let's just give it give it a time. And time I have given a time. And do you know how long it took? It's over 12 hours. You know, I went to bed, let it on, running, come back next day, still 73 is still going on. So let's look at side by side here. Yeah with the, from the 73 and onward and see the option number two. So you can see option number two was still going. So no freezing, nothing in there. It is just continue rolling. Continue rolling, no tail is completed. All right, so let's pause here. Yeah. So here is the option number one. I have done it more than three times. Initially, I was just maybe uh, I need to restart it again. So I done it three times and I have faced the same problem. 73 is keep freezing there. So then I decided just to turn it off. And, you know, I, you know, just pull up the, the juice that I was, the juice that I was pulling to this to keep it going and I remove the batteries and you know bam I remove the battery and then you know turn it off so you can see now with the one the option number two the firmware is updated or downgraded to the oldest version 1.4.0 so we can even go into the menu right just to see what is that? Press OK. And take your time, it's coming up. And then let's go into the menu. All right, here's the menu. Here you can see the option. Firmware version 1.4.0. So basically with this option number two, one SD card open battery door has worked for me with the EOS R6. And I rolled, I rolled my firmware back to the older version and just to show you how it's done. So yeah, guys, so that's, if you wanna roll back for any reason or another reason, you have firmware to the older version. So that's how you can, you can do it. Maybe the option one gonna work for you. Maybe the option two gonna work for you. Or maybe both gonna work for you. But I want to share with that, but disclaimer, you have to be mindful because I'm not advising you to roll it back because people are saying that it, it may destroy your camera. So if you decided to do it, that's at your own risk. I'm not responsible for that. No one is responsible for that. So you have to be mindful of that. So yes, thank you very much. I hope you find this video useful. If so, please like this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. 
and share this video. Maybe other people will find it useful. All right. Thank you, my friend. Akuna Matata. God bless you. Stay protected and stay safe. And, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year if we don't see each other again. But anyway, thank you. Bye for now.